Live from our studios in Regina, this is CTV News. Good evening, thank you for joining us. Across the country, indigenous communities are conducting searches for unmarked graves near the sites of former residential schools. The discoveries have been making headlines over the past few months, and now some are saying it's important to keep the conversation going with accurate information. Stephanie Davis has more. I do want to turn uh, to COVID-19. We're not even two days into this season and it's already making headlines with the Edmonton Elks uh, reports of two players testing positive there. What are your thoughts on that situation and are the protocols in place enough or could you see some changes happening? It's been exactly one month since COVID-19 restrictions lifted in the province. Since then, case numbers have been on the rise. Epidemiologists are watching the trend closely as we head into the fall, saying at this rate, Saskatchewan could see a fourth wave of the virus. Mackenzie Reed reports. Alberta is pressing pause on its plan to do away with virtually all COVID-19 testing. The province was set to take those next steps on Monday, but will now wait another six weeks before deciding how to proceed. Dr. I'm curious what your thoughts are too. We have some returning faces uh, to some of the party leadership this time around, uh, Jagmeet Singh being the most notable there. Um, the NDP allowing him a second shot, do you think that's a gamble or do you think this could work out for the NDP? I guess same could be said for the block in the case too. The provincial ombudsman says Parkside Extended Care was woefully unprepared for last year's COVID-19 outbreak. Taking it back to earth now, Saskatchewan, land of living skies, especially in the summer, spectacular to look at our sky. And there's a certain kind of uh, cloud formation that's been spotted a few times already that people are curious about. Tell me more about that. Good afternoon. A historic provincial and federal announcement this morning. Saskatchewan will have $10 per day regulated early learning and child care for children under the age of six by 2025-26. Well, several streets have been taped off in the town of Wolseley, which is about 100 kilometers east of Regina. RCMP are investigating after an on-duty officer was killed at around 8 a.m. Saturday morning while conducting a traffic stop. The officer killed was 26-year-old Constable Shelby Patton, a six-year member of the RCMP. Now, the RCMP say Constable Patton was following a stolen truck from Manitoba that was spotted in the community of Wolseley Saturday. Saturday morning. He initiated a traffic stop and was struck by the vehicle and died at the scene. He had no partner with him at the time of the incident. The vehicle and the two suspects inside, a man and a woman, left the scene but were located and arrested about two hours later in an area northeast of Francis. The investigation is in the early stages and RCMP have not laid any charges yet. Absolute shock. Like this does not happen here, ever. The last time an RCMP officer was killed on duty in Saskatchewan was back in 2012. For the mayor of Wolseley, the whole tragic situation is difficult to comprehend, especially for an officer early on in his career. Way too young, not old enough, you know, uh, just, just starting out, so <clears throat> just starting out. In nearby Indian Head, where Constable Patton was a member since 2015, a growing memorial of flowers can be seen outside the detachment. Constable Patton's family is also part of the RCMP family. They have lost a husband, son and brother. We will continue to support them during what is an extremely tragic time. Premier Scott Moe also paid his respects to Patton on Twitter, giving his condolences to Patton's family and the wife he leaves behind. Assistant Commissioner Blackmore says she has spoken with both Constable Patton's family and members of his detachment and said he was described as the model RCMP officer. Now, detachments across the province will have their flags lowered to half-mast until Constable Patton's funeral. Gina Martin, CTV News, Wolseley.